Today, I am making a brunch at home, and everyone knows, especially mom, that a meal always tastes better when someone makes it for you. So today, I'm giving mom a break, and I'm making one of the most fabulous recipes ever. She is gonna love this. My classic coffee cake. It's easy, easy. Two sticks of butter, room temperature. So that's one cup of butter, and then two cups of sugar. I want you to take a hand mixer and I just want you to blend these together. Now once that's combined to about this place, I want you to put in two eggs, but you're gonna put them in one at a time and then mix this together some more. And of course, the reason why you are doing this one at a time is so they incorporate better. One more egg. Now, I have a secret ingredient for my coffee cake. I'm gonna use one cup of rich and creamy sour cream. This is gonna give it a lovely flavor and a lot of moisture too. Now, one teaspoon of vanilla goes in here. Mix that together. That is very rich. Okay, now I'm gonna put together my flour mixture. In this bowl is two cups of flour and I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of baking powder. So you wanna mix your dry ingredients together first, then you wanna fold that into your batter, but just a little bit at a time. And the last of the flour goes in there and then make sure this is all combined completely together. There is your batter. For the filling, I need a quarter of a cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I'm gonna put in here one teaspoon of brown sugar. Combine that together, and that's all you do for your filling. Now here's the layering part. You wanna take your bunt pan, right? and then half of your batter goes into the bunt pan. I've already sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray and then spread it around. Before we put the rest of this batter in, this is where our filling comes in. Sprinkle that all around. That is gonna be a little sweet surprise and some beautiful color when you cut your coffee cake. Now the rest of this batter goes in here and that is just enough. And this goes in for 50 to 60 minutes on 350 degrees. My beautiful coffee cake has cooled. Look at that. Take your platter, turn it upside down, and you wanna make sure when you flip it over, did you hear that? That was the cake coming out. Now to garnish it, I'm gonna use a little bit of powdered sugar, and I gotta show you the inside of this. Look at how moist it looks. That is some coffee cake. The total cost of this coffee cake, $3.37. It yields eight pieces, so that's 42 cents a piece. That and a cup of coffee, you got me. Okay, we're gonna make Bloody Marys. It's cocktail time. The recipe, easy, easy. First, you're gonna start off with four cups 
of tomato juice, and then two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then one tablespoon of hot sauce to spice it up. And you could put an extra tablespoon if you wanted it really sassy. A little bit of pepper goes in here. One more ingredient, I need the juice of a lemon. Upside down so the seeds don't come out. I want you to give this a stir. And you know what? All of this just cost me $2.81. Serves four big servings. So that is 70 cents per mocktail. And by the way, I want to reserve a bit of this for my exclusive online round two recipe, Eggs Mary. I need a cup and a half. That is a delicious recipe you have to check out. Now on my plate here is just some Cajun seasoning and some salt. And that's what I'm gonna use to rim my glasses with. And into your seasoning, add a little bit of ice to each glass and some celery stalks. Now, I am gonna add a little bit of vodka to my Bloody Mary mix. Give that a stir, and that is a beautiful Bloody Mary. If you add the vodka, you just have to add 53 cents more a piece to each of your cocktails. Stick around, I've got a fast and easy round two recipe for savory bread pudding and ham. And of course, I am gonna reveal today's money-saving final tally, so stay right here with me. Today I have been making brunch at home and saving you a lot of money. I made my fantastic Eggs Benedict for just under $1.50 per person. My ham and cheese souffle was a deal for under a dollar a serving. My alcohol-free Bloody Marys hit the spot at just 70 cents each. And for dessert, my classic coffee cake was just 42 cents a serving. This is really a fantastic money-saving brunch. And can I tell you, wait till you hear the final tally. Look at this, $15.95. That is just under $4 per person. And you're gonna have four extra servings of coffee cake left over. And you know me, I'm not even finished yet. I have a great round two recipe for savory bread pudding you are gonna love. It's even got ham in it. This is one medium yellow onion in one tablespoon of canola oil. And I'm just letting this sweat and get nice and translucent. To this, I wanna add three sprigs of thyme. Take this and just work your way down, taking off all those leaves, just like that. That's the easiest way to get it. A Little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Give that a stir and just let that cook up. And you know what else I'm gonna put in here right now? That leftover ham from my souffles. And just make sure you separate all those little pieces. Looking good. Now, in my little dish right here, I have the leftover bread, remember, from my Eggs Benedict, and I wanna add some bread to that. And this is two extra slices. You just wanna really make sure you cover the bottom of your pan. Over this goes your onions and your ham. I spread it evenly. And now for the custard part of my bread pudding. In a bowl, I want you to put two cups of milk. And to this, you're gonna add four eggs. A bit of salt and pepper go in here too. And I'm also gonna put in here what was left over from my souffle mixture. Remember this? That's going in here. Cheese and ham and egg whites. Now with your whisk, stir this all together. And you're gonna pour this over your bread mixture. And because this is just sandwich bread, it absorbs that custard so quickly. This one can go right into the oven, about 30, 35 minutes on 375 degrees. 
Piping hot, beautiful savory bread pudding with ham. Look at those ham chunks in there. That is delicious. Can I tell you, this only costs a dollar and two cents in extra ingredients. I also want you to remember that I've got another exclusive online round two recipe for you. Just go to foodnetwork.com slash round two recipes for my eggs, Mary. And also, you gotta know that when you're saving money, it is super simple if you are super smart. And really, what's better than a delicious meal that leaves a little extra money in your pocket? I am Sandra Lee. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.